So welcome to this tutorial. We are going to go from this image to this image. So this is your just classic not white balanced out of camera shot and it needs a lot of work to have more punch, more contrast, more glossiness. So his style is very, uh, it's a little underexposed but has rich contrast, uh, a glossy look to it. So you got to get quite often the contrast is too much people don't like too much contrast so you soften it with the glossy look um, with a little bit of a fade but it's not a fade it's a gloss so it's different and yeah there's gonna be a lot of work in the curves is very key for the style yeah let's get into it and we are gonna do a bunch of work and learn how to make the adjustments to get this exact result here. So I just wanna show you the cropping because there's a bit going on. So we are putting the eyes on the bottom rule of thirds. I think that's important. Balances the image a lot there and obviously straightening for the horizon or you can't really see the horizon but maybe the eyes are used as the horizon there. It looks natural and balanced. Okay, so the first thing I just wanna to jump to is the white balance here. So let's just drop it down down into 4300 so you can see we've definitely cooled off the image and it looks a lot more white balanced now so it's a bit green probably because there'd be so much green in the environment so we're going to add in a little bit of purple and then it strips out the green you know color theory you understand that okay so now it very largely comes down to style so what i didn't show you is that i've actually got some curves already done here so this is without curves this is actually what it looks like out of camera the amount of contrast and color so we've already got some curve adjustments here so let's look at the curves here so we've got just a big s curve what this is going to do is it add in contrast so if Obviously, if we turn it off and on, you can see how much contrast there is. So we're just now going to be trying to look at this image and recreate the colors and the style. So we want a bit of smoothness, like so we'll drop the texture. Um, it can be hard to spot, but you eventually you can train your eye to see stuff. Might be a little too bright. Um, highlights down for some matte shadows so we can see into this, these darkest of areas. Um, I'm going to bring these up. I want some vibrant tones, but then bringing down the saturation. So then we're left with just the vibrance there and it's not too much. Um, highlights down a bit. So the highlights will, it's a style reason to drop your highlights, especially for this photo. It gives a slightly more matte, matted look. Drop some contrast. So I'm going to add in more contrast here with this curve so just a simple probably a pretty simple curve so i want a little bit of matte to those whites that's that's why you do that let's bring this back into let's bring this back into the middle there's just a touch of just the tiniest bit of contrast and i definitely want a strong fade to these blacks you can see how dark yet faded those blacks are uh, over in this curve Again, I want some matted look, glossy look. So I'm going to bring some of these down. Yeah, very subtle, but at the end of the day, it makes a really, really, really big difference. So as we're editing then, we bring up the saturation. We've just got so many yellows and stuff like that. So I might actually let's just drop, drop a few colors here, especially those greens for sure. But let's come to split toning and add in these blues. There's so many blues and and the blacks kind of so let's come to here shadows let's chuck in 10 saturation blue uh, we'll go a bit more with 15 and then in the highlights in the highlights i also want to cool it down um but you can see we're like lacking a bit of color now so we're going to now get the tones in hsl that we want okay so this particular image hsl is going to play a pretty big role also curves play a very big role um yeah yellows across for sure um we're simply just looking at the other image trying to match it up 
There's not a lot of blues. Purples, I sometimes bring purple magenta down roughly in line with everything else. Um, we don't want this piece of blue down here. Luminance will play a big role in this one, so down, down, and brighten for that shine and pop. Uh, not a lot of blues, but shine and pop, shine and pop. Uh, we can leave purple magenta. So pretty close with our tones now. So down the bottom here, I'm just gonna slide this uh, to the left, so this is a vignette, because quite obviously, it's, like, it's a moody kind of vibe to the image, and the center of the image is the most important part of the image where we want the person to look. So we're gonna add a vignette to really center in on those eyes. So down here in calibration, so to, there's a lot of reds and browns in this image. And my favorite way to add reds and browns, if you're trying to achieve brown, can be a hard color to get. So this this adds a lot of redness to your oranges and yellows. Um, you don't want to go too far, but red and orange is close to a brown if you desaturate it. So I like to do that, and that helps get those brown tones people sometimes really struggle to get. Um, sharpness just a little bit we'll just whack it up a little bit and I'm pretty happy with that what I haven't shown you guys is the uh, masking here so we got this one up here so if we just delete all the masks so you can see the background gets a bit brighter there and then we reveal the eyes here so so if we so if we delete you can see the eyes just aren't popping they're not vibrant they don't stand out and now they stand out and they're the main part of the image so that's all that's going on up here so we've got uh, just a bit of exposure to the eyes and then the background is um nicely nicely selected so this is actually super use useful this feature here select background and it very nicely grabs what is not the subject so lightroom is pretty impressive with that all right, guys, so make sure you go follow him on Instagram. His links are down in the description. Let him know you found him through this tutorial. Here's our before and after. And, yeah, that really just looks straight out of the camera, not white balanced. And, yeah, we've come a long way with that, with putting an intentional style on it. So more contrast, more matte, though, more shine. And then, obviously, with the brushes and stuff, makes a big difference and then there's a good color split there that adds the contrast of color which helps a lot vibrance yeah much more rich a lot more rich and yeah we will leave it there is a before after so what if you got the raw image from over a hundred pro photographers the preset and the lesson on how they edit their images so you could follow along step by step So click the link and you'll find more information on how to join the number one editing course designed to give you the exact style you're trying to achieve and to get that style you've always wanted from one of your favorite photographers. So click that link and I'll see you over there and we'll work on getting you to your perfect style. Shoot me in the dark, I did it.